All right, back in CSGO, you used to be able to invite your friend and then you can load up any workshop map. So here I have Op Lego 2. But in CS2, now you're unable to connect to your friend's custom game and your friends can't connect to you. As you can see, if I try loading up a workshop map on my alt, which is on a laptop and connected to my phone's hotspot, they can't join. But it is still possible to play custom games and workshop maps. As you can see, here's me and my friend on the map, Thera. If you are the lobby leader, you are going to have to go into your router settings and you're going to have to port forward. Uh, the other people in your lobby don't have to do anything. Now each router is different and you're going to have to research how to port forward on your own router. For this tutorial, I'll be showing you how I did it on mine and the settings I used. All right, what you're gonna have to do is hit open up a command prompt. So hit start, type in CMD. You open that up, then type in IP config and hit enter. Now find the line that says IPv4 address. You wanna copy those numbers, write it down or put it in a notepad or somewhere. Next, you're gonna log into your router so here's me logging into mine. Now each router is different. You're gonna have to look up how to port forward on your own router. Mine has the options under advance and it's under access control. And there it is, port forwarding. Now my router's port forward settings has a games list. If you have something similar to this, you can just go ahead and select CSGO because CS2 and CSGO are pretty much the same game. And next you type in the numbers you got from the command prompt. So here's me typing them. 192.168.1.7 And I hit add. It should appear there and then I hit apply. Now if you don't have that, you're going to have to do it manually. So let me scroll down. Let's give it a name. I'll name it CS2. For the internal host, you type the numbers you got from the command prompt, so I'll enter it in here. For the protocol, change it to UDP, and for the external and internal port, both ports are going to be 27015. then you're going to hit add and then apply and that's it this is my first time making a tutorial if this helps leave a like and uh thanks for watching